Hello, welcome back to our third part of chapter 9, which is about layout strategy. Now, in this part here, it's just a continuation of what we did in the second part. The second part is about solving this exercise about the layout decision at Kizi Project Company, which is MPC. Now, in the second video, what we're supposed to do, in short, as I recall, this um, uh, does this, this company that um, that is a machine shop and they have this is the layout of the company they have six different rooms where they want to locate to allocate six different department now they want to choose which of the location will give them the best handling cost uh, which of the, which allocation will give them the best handling cost now in the uh, second part of this chapter we did the first allocation here and now in the second part we are going to solve for the second allocation the only the difference between this allocation is like in room one in the first allocation there used to be material but in the second there's now the drilling and the welding didn't change the material now moved from room one to room three and as well as the green that moved from room five to room four and the left went from room four to room five and the bender remained the same this is what we'll be working uh, we'll be working on for the second part now for this second part this is how the, the location is supposed to be so you have the drilling in the first room the welding the second the third one is the material the third the fourth is the green the fifth is the left and then we have the bender now as we say we keep the same values the distance metric the distance metric didn't change these this these distance metrics are the same as the one we use for the first exercise this one is only the distance between these rooms again i uh, really want to emphasize on this one this one is the distance between the rooms and not the department and after what we have now is uh, the flow metric this is our flow metric this one now is the number of units that are moving from one department to another and they are, they are also given now now when trying to do a solution the first thing that we need to do first of all is to allocate now these rooms based to the new allocation and the new location it says that drilling should be in room one this is what we did uh, drilling is in room one welding is supposed to be in room two and then material in room three so we have our weld in room two material in room three and the green and the left are supposed to be in room four and five and then you have the bender we just use this table here is the same table that we use for the distance metric remember you always you always do your modification in the distance uh, matrix not in the floor matrix so we took the values here and we, we we put each and every department in a specific row i mean in a specific uh room so the first thing that we need to do again is start solving normally we have our row one and the row one now it's about the drills that you are working on the drill is say that um the number uh wait this one is a distance here the distance between the drill the room one and room two is five the number of units that are moving from drill and welding we go to our table drill and welding is here so we have 12 units that are moving now next what we do is room one and room three the distance is 10 the number of units that are moving from uh, the drilling to the material we have drilling and material it's here we have drill sorry yeah yeah drill and material the number of units that are moving it's zero so there's nothing that is moving yeah plus we have now room one and room four we have 20 units which is the drill and the green we go back to drill and green we got zero units so there's nothing that is moving there too so we have zero plus um, room one and room five we have 15 units that are moving we got it from here and from the 15 units that are moving we need to go uh, we have 15 15 is a distance drill and left what are the number of unit drill and left here we have five units that are moving so we have five units and after those five units now we have drill and bend drill and bend it's room one and six and the distance is 10 the number of unit between drill and bend we have drill here and we have bend bend which is 38 so we have our value of 88 yeah then we're done with this part now we go to row two row two what we need to do let me just check room one quickly so yeah it makes sense now from row two we are working from room two and room one the distance is five from the distance here we need to how many units are moving from the welding to the drill 
welding yeah and the drills it's 42 so we have 42 in it that are moving here so after the 42 now we look for room 2 and room 3 the number of unit is 5 but now how many are moving from the welding to the material check to our table welding it here and material it's here so we have six units that are moving so we have six units then from the six unit now we're moving from room two to room four it's seven we it's seven units which is um the welding and the green so we go back and we check welding it here and the green it there so we have 12 and we have our value of 12 plus then we have the welding and which is room 2 and room 5 the distance is 10 which is the welding and the lathe so we go by we go back to welding here and left the distance so there's nothing that is moving so we have zero unit plus we have the welding and the bending which is 15 that is the distance welding and bending so we go back to our unit we have welding here and bending it zero so there's nothing that is being moved at two and we have zero now we go to row three when it comes to row three we have the material and the drill which is room three and room ten and room one the distance is ten units that are moving uh, from this ten unit here material and drill we need to know how many are moving from material and drill so we go back to material here and drill where is it there so it's zero so there's nothing that is moving here we have zero plus yeah we work for material which is room three and room two it's here room three and room two so we have five units that are moving at uh, the distance is five units and then material and welding we have material here and welding we have 25 yeah so this gives us 25 plus we have welding and green it's here now we are on room three yeah we have material and green which gives us five and we need to go back material so this one is room three and room four the distance is five and then we should do for material and green material and green is somewhere here yeah, the green is 15 so we have five times 15 this is our value this is material and green so we should do now material and left which is room three and room five the distance is seven so we have material and left we have material that is here and the left is 20 so we have our 20 here now the last one is the material and the band and the distance is between three and six the distance is 20. now from this 20 here uh, we check the material and bend material it here and bend we have three units that are moving so we have three units here and your value and row four when it comes to row four we have room one and room room four and room one the distance is rent how many is 20 sorry and how many units are moving now from from green to drill go back and we check from green to drill we have three units that are moving plus next is from the green to the welding we have seven units that are moving and from this seven unit is green and wild so we have green here and wild we have 15 units that are moving so we have our 15 units that are moving the previous one which is room for it was green and drill let me check green and drill yeah it was three so we add with our value of five here now the five is the distance between the green between room four and room three the distance is five now with green and material so we check for green and material we have five green and material which gives us five plus mm, we are here Green and material that means we now work for green and left which is four and five which gives us five yeah green and left how many units are moving from the green to the left there's nothing that is moving so we have our value of zero here plus this was the green and the left now we need to have the green and the band 
quit and bend the distance is 10 how many units are moving from green to bend we have 25 units so we have 25 unit moving here like this and now we have row 5 row 5 here is the distance between room 5 and room 1 which gives us 15 and the 15 is the uh, we check now the unit from left and drill so we have left here and the drills are here so there's nothing that is moving we have zero plus the second is room five and room two it's ten how many units are moving from the left and the welding we have left here and the welding which gives us 12 units so we have 12 units here plus uh, left and uh, which is room room five and room three five and three it's seven five and three seven so we have left and material so we go from left and material now is it left and material let me check again room five it here it left here and material here so we have our left and the material the number of units that are moving it four so we have four here plus left we just did five and three which is seven now we need to do five and four which is five so we have five unit here and from this five unit now we are working for left and green left and green so we go back to our left here and our green is more here so we have 20 so we have 20 units that are moving then from here we have five which is room five and room six or left and bend the number of units uh, the distance is five left and bend how many units are moving we have left and bend which is 11 we have 11 units that are moving in this column and that is about row five now for row six what we do is the distance between room one and room six which gives us 10 that we multiply by uh, bend and grill how many units we have bend and drill here we have 13 unit so we have 13 unit here this one is for the bend and drill let me check again bend and drill 13 yes so we have now room 6 and room 2 the distance is 15 that we multiply by the bend and the weld so we have bend here and the welding department which is 2 So now we have bend, which is room 6, and material room 3, the distance is 20. We are here, and this column here, bend and material, check, bend, and material, we have 4 units that are moving. So we have 4 units. Let me check back the other one, it was 10, bend and drill, which gave me 13, and then there was 15, uh, bend and welding, bend and welding, it was 2, and then we have the bend and material the distance is 20 bend and material we have four yeah now we are working for the bend and the green the distance is 10 so we go for bend and green yeah bend and green we have 12 so we have our value of 12 that is here plus um bend and left the distance is five that we multiply by bend and left so we have bend here and the left here which means it's 20 so we have our value of 20 here now based on the calculate based on the row that we have here we need to calculate each one of them the first one should give us a value of 515 the second must be must give 324 the third one must give 400 And the fourth one we give 440. The third one is 303. And the last one is 4620. If I'm not mistaken, let me try to check again. So we have 5, we do plus 5 times 6 plus 7. 7, 12. 
and we get 324 yeah so the total ending cost now the total ending cost will be the total of all these values 515 plus 324 plus 400 plus 440 plus 303 plus 4460 so it's 515 342 400 440 303 and yeah so we get 515 plus 324 plus 400 plus 440 plus 303 plus 460 and the value that we get is 2 it's in rand two four four two yeah so this is the total cost in short first of all i want to emphasize on something in the way that the reason why this all this way the value that we get is in rand is because we assume that one meter in all our calculation we assume that we assume that one meter is equal to one rand that means all the distances that we have here are in meters so if we get five like in this case we get 515 the value that we get normally is supposed to be in meters but we say one meter is equal to one rand so that's why we take 515 meter multiplied by one it still give us 515 rand in some exercises for example like an exercise that we'll do in the third part that's when they'll tell you for example that uh, one meter is equal to 0 0.5 or one feet is equal to 0 0.5 so the answer that we get here we need to multiply it by that cost in short Anyway, you'll see in the in, in the next video that we'll be doing. Now, yeah, this was just a bracket that I opened. Anyways, this is the total handling cost for uh, the second layout, which means now that the company, for the first allocation, if the company need to use it, which is which by the way, this is the first allocation here. We have material in room one, welding in room two, and so on and so on. This first allocation, the one we just did in the second the second video gave us this total handling cost 3320 while with the second allocation now this is the second allocation we got uh, a total handling cost of 2442 rand so this one here is the best allocation uh which is the best allocation it is the best allocation because it's giving us uh, the lowest handling cost possible so thank you so much for your time i really hope that this video was interesting and it helped you understand this part yeah thank you